A two engine lineup for now. Two engines are being offered initially. A 147, HP 20, litter with a six speed automatic will be the mainstream engine, with a 14, litter turbo and seven speed dual clutch automatic as the echo option. A six speed manual also is available on the base southeast. A third, more powerful engine will come this fall in a sport model to be shown at SEMA in November. We're bound by secrecy not to discuss the sport too much, but it may just have a major technical change between its rear wheels that does not involve propulsion. Hyundai let us sample the priciest version for a day in the San Diego hinterlands. Our $27,710 Limited had both the $2,500 tech package, 80 inch navigation touchscreen, infinity premium audio, sunroof, and heated rear seats heated fronts are standard on the limited, and the $1,900 ultimate package, with swiveling hid headlights, emergency auto braking with pedestrian detection, and a group of anti-disaster devices normally found on more expensive cars, such as adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. Thus what we had was a nicely equipped Sonata in 7 8 scale. And like the Toyota Corolla that the Elantra exists to destroy, it's no sports sedan. However, while its dimensions are nearly the same as the old Elantras and it offers respectable backseat space and a 14, cubic, foot trunk that expands with folding rear seat backs, the car is much stiffer, the impacts no longer causing waves of shutters in the body and steering column. Moreover, road and wind noise and the inevitable thwack of the Limited's large, 225-45 tires on 17-inch wheels slapping the pavement are pleasantly distant, the cabin a decent isolation chamber for a car at this price point.